Hi everyone, how you doing today? So, uh, got me another plasma in. It's, uh, I didn't even look, see what the date is. Uh, let's see. You guys see it? I don't see it. Let's see. There it is. Manufactured 2014. So, take a look at what we got here. Those are nice. Those are nice. <clears throat> and then, uh, should have some down here. And then these guys over here. Sorry, it's cold. Uh, what? That's not nice. But, if I had to guess... You know, I want to say that's, I want to guess that being silver. Um, who, who made this? Samsung. I don't see them putting out something that uh, takes a chance on going bad. And those have always been gold contacts before. Uh, so, let's see, what do I got going on here? weight bench ugly chair chiropractic chair treadmill got some old stuff uh, that's that uh, tripod I was telling you about from like the 50s 60s and this is uh, some old photo equipment which uh, it's in rough shape, but I think I might still able still be able to make a dollar or two off of it. Uh, I think that's a battery box. Yeah, we're gonna take that one apart though. Uh, and the reason being is it's been out here in the weather for uh, I don't know about a week old trunk i was going to keep it up or uh, try and touch it up and resell it but it's it's seen better days so yeah it's on its way out got this guy really nice and for those of you who don't know these are weights and you move this guy right here to pick up more weights <clears throat> and that's pretty cool I sold a set of these before I think for forty dollars but I didn't have the neat little stand like this has so I might put these out there for 75 80 nice little TV stand <clears throat> Oh gosh, excuse me guys. Uh, this is just all throw away. The guy had a uh, sign company or something. And this was a bunch of samples. Old zinc. Uh, got them chairs over there. That bike. I've got to get it inside. It seems to be practically brand new. Let's see old t-shirt press but I was already informed that it does not work and then, whoa sorry about that guys power button's been knocked out of it and then uh, here's that pantogram thing I was telling you about alright so there's a little needle that follows the uh, stencils and then that guy drills down into it uh, I don't know if it's going to work or not got these chairs got this little glider <clears throat> hey what these things are pretty cool 
I love these things. They got that one's got lights on it. This uh, wife went and grabbed her another piece of uh, old driftwood. Let's see here. <coughs> I'm trying to fight in the cold right now. I'll be fine, but uh, I still don't like freaking sniffles, sore throat. Hip miss wrench. Sometimes, guys, these can be very valuable. Sometimes they're not, but sometimes they can have value. So, you ever come across them? Well, and I mean, don't get me wrong, when I say very valuable, I'm talking like 40, 50 bucks. You're not gonna uh, retire on selling a hip mess wrench. And there are probably some out there that are a little cheaper. I haven't even gone through this. Got a burlap bag. Got a paddle with duck on it. Actually, it's probably a hot plate. Oh, Longa Burger Design by the W.C. Mock family. Might have to set that aside. I do pretty well on Longa Burger, Longa Burger items when I get them in. It's a neat little mallet. Wood mallet with the uh, iron core or casing. Uh, let's see. Couple more wrenches. Ohio. And then that one doesn't say anything. Let's see what else we got here. Hey, that's pretty cool. turning it so probably have to tighten that down to get it to run uh, let's see some sheep shears I come across these a lot here in Ohio uh, I don't know what kind of wrench that is but it's kind of cool looking another thing is uh, you guys come across some cool looking tools they have a tendency to sell pretty good too Old oil can. Uh, broken wrench. Let's see. Uh, that looks like the side of a plow, maybe. Small plow. Another wrench. <clears throat> I don't know what that is. It's old. Uh, let's see here. I just seen something I wanted to look at right there. Pipe wrench, maybe? Or something, uh, grab hot, something hot out of the fire. <clears throat> they had a marked, might have been a flea market buy or something like that. Let's see. This is the guy I'm trying to get to. Um, wow, it's a thingamajiggy. Uh, watch him call it. Um, oh, sorry, guys. 
As you can tell, I'm uh, having one of them clumsy days. Let's see. Have any of you seen anything like this before? I'm guessing it probably swung around. I don't know. It's hard telling. But that goes to the old plow somehow, some way, I don't know. Uh, and that's it, guys. So, uh, kind of went on longer than I thought. Like I said, I'm just trying to get a few things knocked out. It's a little warmer today. I think we're in the 40s. But uh, I, I haven't. Uh, been out to the garage here in probably a week and all of this stuff stacked up on me you know I'm gonna pull the boards on the plasma and pull the wires out of the treadmill maybe <laughs> I'm uh, I don't know just a little beat down that bag right there is uh, all aluminum uh, it was some kind of uh, shelter tent. Oh, you know what? So the uh, stripped wire, I took that in. And it was uh, $364. And I only had, I mean, just a hair. Hair more than that. So, And then the next day I took... Next day, I took this in. We got uh, aluminum cans, 35 cents. Cast aluminum, quarter. Sheet aluminum, quarter. Batteries, uh, quarter. Uh, copper, insulated copper number two. 49 cents a pound. That's come back up. It was down to 40. Uh, radiators. 99 cents. Stainless non-magnetic. That came back up to 32. It was down to like 23 cents or something. Insulated copper number one. 96 cents. 435.44. So, um counting up that wire the ICW what do we have there 244 roughly and I had probably 80 90 dollars of that was stuff I already had no I'm not even gonna say that probably only 30 or 40 so we'll say 200 so that one job all that copper I got was worth roughly $500 and it's just because they didn't want to haul it up out of the basement and go to the uh, scrapyard with it. So guys, it is out there. It's uh, um, not a, you know, you got a lot of crap to go through to get the good stuff. But, you know, talk to people. Put, uh, put ads on Craigslist. Craigslist. For, uh removal of electronics or scrap metal or whatsoever see that guy right there we had a windstorm there let me move it there and that blue uh the blue lid actually flew like all the way over there uh but it's coming back together now you'd think with all the wind we've had lately i lived on the coast uh or down in florida it's one thing i we went on vacation down to florida and the wind never stopped the entire time we were down there 
So that's it guys. I gotta get off here and get back to work. You guys have a uh, Merry Christmas if I don't talk to you.